Tonight, Governor Chafee is speaking out publicly for the first time about his decision to veto a bill that would have allowed Rhode Islanders to pay extra for pro-life license plates. Eyewitness News reporter Shante Lance joins us now with new details from the Providence Mobile Newsroom. A bill that would allow the sales of license plates with the anti-abortion slogan, Choose Life, made it through the House and the Senate, but this week it was vetoed by the governor. Walking into any Rhode Island DMV and buying a license plate almost included a new style, a plate designed to grab the public's attention with the words, Choose Life. The Democratic-controlled House and Senate voted Monday to authorize the DMV to sell license plates that would say, Choose Life, and display the Choose Life Kids logo. The plate was designed by CareNet Pregnancy Center of Rhode Island, a local Christian pregnancy center that encourages women not to terminate their pregnancies. The bill would allow some of the proceeds to go to that organization. And that's what Governor Lincoln Chafee says is the problem. Well, we have to be very careful about organizations that use tax dollars that promote a specific religion. That, that's just uh, unconstitutional. But pro-life groups like the Rhode Island State Right to Life Committee says they're not buying it. Today, Executive Director Barth E. Bracey released a statement saying, quote, Governor Chafee's veto reveals an extremism on abortion and is grossly out of step with other New England Democrats. A man who speaks of tolerance while stifling the free speech of those who disagree with him can only be regarded as a hypocrite. Choose Life plates are already available in neighboring Massachusetts and Connecticut. Lawmakers can still override the governor's veto with a vote by three-fifths of the General Assembly. I respect uh, the strong emotions attached to this issue. Uh, on the veto, it, it was uh, really about the proceeds, uh, the tax dollars and where they go uh, really drove that veto. At this point, there are no plans for the bill supporters to come back with a veto override. Reporting with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Shante Lands, Eyewitness News.